But on election day, the ballots were counted and the American people decided. The president was never in a position to choose his successor. The American people chose his successor. The president vowed to work with whomever the American people chose. Uh, so no, they did not recreate some sort of presidential debate in the Oval Office today. They're, they were focused on doing the uh, work of the American people, fulfilling their institutional responsibilities. And on President Obama's part, that means uh, laying the groundwork so that the incoming president-elect can hit the ground running. After all, as President Obama said in the Rose Garden yesterday, uh, we're all rooting for his success when it comes to uniting and leading this country. Given the intensity of um, scrutiny of his remarks, it's notable that he chose that kind of tone. I think we saw a similar tone uh, just in the Oval Office uh, 30 minutes ago, uh, where he was, um, uh, you know, indicating his, uh, you know, commitment to working closely with uh, the outgoing administration to ensure a smooth, effective transition. It doesn't mean they agree on all the issues. Uh, they obviously have deep disagreements. Uh, but um, what they do agree on uh, is a commitment to a smooth and effective transition, and that's a good thing for the country. Uh, I think when you consider the profound differences uh, between the two gentlemen, uh, when you consider the fact that they've never met before in person, uh, and when you consider the high priority that the president places on a smooth and effective transition, uh, I think that qualifies as excellent.